Et l'on se retrouve avec And here we are in the studio with the crew from the film Graduation for our interview with the great Romanian director who's back in competition. Welcome, Christian Munju. Thank you for being with us and for showing us this screen graduation with your wonderful actors. Maria, hello to you. And Adrian, welcome to you also. Thank you for being here. Welcome to Cannes. Welcome to all three of you. This film, Christian, addresses moral issues, moral issues which uh, your main character has to deal with, the doctor played by Adrian Titiani. Is that what you were focusing on, the moral issues that people have to face today in current Romania? Was that the starting point? Not necessarily, well, it was a man of his age. It was a, par a parent. I wanted to address the questions that a parent might have to address for their children. What do we say to our children in today's world? That is the biggest problem for someone of our age, deciding whether the education we give to our children is... Uh, is the right one. Yes, what you're saying is that there are youngsters who want to succeed, but succeed in order to leave Romania. That's the character of the daughter. But we're not sure whether she really wants to leave. Well, you have to watch the film to find out that in society today, I've noted that people of my generation did the revolution. We were very young when communism was there. We had lots of high hopes and we fought to change society. And now here we are a bit disappointed today. We have to take decisions for our children now. We're going to have, do, are we going to have another sacrifice generation as we were, or is this time to have a generation which is free of pressure? But it's not easy to find the answer because somebody has to stay in Romania to change things. Maria, you play the, go the role of a young girl, has to sit her ex school exams. There's a lot of pressure on this young girl. What's going through her mind? She's got a boyfriend. She's a brilliant student, but her father really wants her to leave Romania. We're not sure that she wants to leave. What do you think, Maria? I will say it in English because I think uh, it'll go faster. So um, what it is for me is that, uh, you know, first of all, the daughter, you know, we're all, we're all the kid of someone. So we know what it means to like have um, these these conversations with our parents so what what is going to be your future you know mm. and parents ha apparently like sometimes have um, different opinions about what the future should look like mm. but uh, what we are, we ourselves would want it to be you know and um, for Elisa I think uh, the path that they choose for the beginning is uh, is very much pleasing her you know she didn't she doesn't know anything else mm. she really grew up uh, knowing anything and nothing else but but working for what her parents foresaw for her so um, yeah I mean it's the same thing that Christian said you have to see the movie to really understand what is right. going to be behind that but um, but, uh, yeah, that's for now. <laughs> You're right to say that. Let's not give too much away. Because it, there's a lot of suspense in the film. Adrian, you represent the same generation as Christian, who come back from, uh, or come back to Romania in 1991 because you wanted to change society. And at the same time, your character says to the daughter, but you have to go. Don't live in Romania. How do you uh, understand that situation? I'm a parent, and uh, it's very difficult to say what's better to do in these uh, situations. Um, the connecting between parent and child uh, keep the walls together, mm. and um, I try to do my best, but mm. uh, this kind of option in a society which uh, kind of values, I don't know uh, the correct word, uh, uh, unstable values, mm. uh, it's, it's very difficult. And um, 
I'll try to improve my goals and my my vision for life uh, with uh, a lot of obstacles. Mm. Um, I don't know. C'est difficile de rester droit. Is there is it difficult to keep on the straight and narrow path in Romania? Is it difficult to remain honest and just, Christian, and to succeed? It's not a film only about Romania. I'm not only talking about Romania. I'm talking about human nature. It's the same all over the place in other countries. If you have the strength to make judgments about what you've done, well, sooner or later, you have to be as honest as you can to your children because the children is talking about, uh, the film is talking about educating our children. We say a lot to our children, but the children also watch what we do. They observe us. And that's another type of education. I also want to talk, talk about someone who feels guilty about the things that he did in the past and wondering if we are educating our children in the right way. Because if we look at today's society, there's a lot of corruption and there are issues that have to be addressed. Is it not us? Because we will talk about corruption. We should start with ourselves. Is it not a, a question of the way we educate our children? And that's what I hoped to address in my film. It's not only Romania. It's becoming aware uh, all over the world. Well, let me reassure you that, yes, this is, uh, these are issues that apply to all of us. There's a universal vision in your film, Graduation. Maria, you, were, you acted with Michael Haneke. You came to Cannes for that film, for the White Ribbon. That film got the Golden Palm. You worked with a filmmaker who also won the Golden Palm with four months, three weeks, two days. He's very talented. How did he work with you? How did he direct you? How did he prepare you for your role? First of all, he is an extremely intelligent man that has so many levels that I discovered during the shooting, not only during that, but when I read the script first, I was like, ah, yeah, it's about this. And he says, no, it's not only about this, but it's about so much more. And it's great because we discovered throughout our um, work how deep you know we can go and for me it was great because acting for me is about letting go and letting myself fall into the character and uh, in Christian I found somebody that really gave me the possibility to let myself fall into his like really literally like into his arms and just say okay um, so what what do you what do you demand from that character? And we had very much a dialogue on set also all the time, try to go further and further and um and it was really amazing for me to see how far I really could go. So um yeah, so we you know we talked about it at first like you do usually and then uh, from that on it was it felt very natural, you know. Mm. It was really great. Mm. Was it natural for you, Adrian, also? How was it when Christian pointed the camera at you? How was it to act for him? You have worked with many great directors in your past. What's unique about Christian? For me, it was a kind of experience uh, for the first time in life. Mm. Uh, first time with uh, Christian Mungiu. Um, first time of far away from home, maybe 45 days, uh, and first, ti first time in a leading role, very mm. complex. And um, he knows everything, and uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I left totally in, in his arms. It was a very great experience, uh, interesting, and uh, for the first time, I'm here. <coughs> and I'm grateful to Christian Mungiu. <laughs> I'm here in the camp. Thank you. Same for me, very much. <laughs> Christian Mungiu, what you expecting from your actors? Um, 
Oui, je veux qu'ils connaissent ce qu'ils disent. I <laughs> wanted them to learn their lines. C'est pas toujours gagné, ça, c'est vrai. Which isn't always uh, easy. Indeed, I wanted them to be really there in body and soul for all of that time. I wanted them to respect the truth of what we were doing, of the ideas we were conveying in our film. But uh, I don't know everything at all. I learn when I make my films. So uh, do the, uh, does, does what we see on the screen represent your own experience, or are these stories that people have explained to you? Or does it reflect your own moral dilemma? Enfin, there's always oneself in one's film. So I make films, I make short films, talk about things which are important for me. It's always uh, important where I am in my life. I happen to be a parent, and I am w wondering about many things, about the future of my children, about the future of my country and the right path we have to take. Do you want them to stay in Romania, your children? They're kind of small at the minute. I've got some time left before I have to take that decision, but it's not clear-cut at all. So I made my first uh, film 15 years ago in Cannes, and I make films so that we all can change the site. I'm still here. I've not gone from Romania, but for my children, it's not that clear-cut. You want your children to have a, a really nice life. But by the same token, Someone has to stay in the country, so if they could, I think the best, I think we have to just do what we can to make things move forward. And good films can put the right questions, as does your film, Graduation. Thank you very much, Christian.